welcome to day one of the vlogs. I think we're all ready to go, right? Yeah, we're ready to go. Got everything? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hope so. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I really hope so. Well, let's take a look at the back of the car and we'll look at see all the luggage in the mess. Very nice. Wow, that looks good. Okay. So I'm gonna take over the driving. Got stuff. Just got a salad, I guess. I don't know. Got a burger and some nuggets to eat while I'm uh -huh. driving. Because <laughs> okay, that's we're not gonna get a lot of traffic, so I want you to be really careful. I will. About what you're doing. Don't even worry about it. Should, I got yeah, this. Well, when you have a wreck, then you're gonna be sorry. Okay. I'm not gonna have a wreck. Okay. I got this. Okay, good. So we made it to our hotel and. Uh, Richmond, Virginia, and on the elevator right now, let's hit three, let's go to three, MTV Cribs, about to show you the room, <laughs> hope there's no one in the hall, really hope there's no one in the hall, swear to god, alright, let's go, let's take you on the tour, MTV Cribs. Oh, he's already, he's filming. MTV Cribs. Can I gain access to your new home? Oh, I thank you. This is pretty nice. I appreciate the access to your brand new home. Oh. Okay, well, uh, hold on. You move, you put yours over there and I'll... So, so give me move, a... Move yours all the way over there and I'll put mine on that thing. Give me a tour of the place, ma'am. MTV Cribs. Okay. Now, this is the instructions for the Wi-Fi. Hold on. Uh, I want a tour first, ma'am. This is a barn door thing for the bathroom. And that's about <laughs> all. And this is probably to go to somebody else's room. So we're good. And uh, I'm the chauffeur, so here are your keys back. Thank you. Okay. Where's so, my tip? <laughs> you've been tipped all day. What about this? This is a good tip. Those are just holes, uh -huh. ma'am. Okay. Are you calling me an, are you calling oh, me an a hole? Say. Nope. Let's, uh. So, Belle and I just ate here. And I suggest that anyone check this out if they're in the Charlottesville area. Our surfer was very cool. I've also checked that store out because some people would see that store say, hey, check that store out, man. The game. Well, they had board games uh, of stuff that, like, console games, stuff that I don't understand. So, uh, it's not me for me. I'm more of a PC gamer, so. It's like Dungeons and Dragons books. It's like, well, I want to maybe get into that at some point, but I don't play Dungeons and Dragons right now. Actually, as a matter of fact, there's a co-worker that's trying to get me over to his house one Sunday to play Dungeons and Dragons, and I very well might have to entertain him on that and go over to his house. <laughs> so, yeah. Back to the hotel we go. Oh yeah, by the way, I had some chicken and some rice. And that Indian food was pretty good. I liked it. <laughs> so yeah, I enjoyed it. There's a handsome man. Thomas 
Stokerson Foundation, a private nonprofit that owns and operates Monticello. On behalf of all of our staff, trustees, and volunteers, thank you for visiting today. The shuttle's next stop is the mountain top where the house and gardens are located. From this stop, the shuttle returns to the visitor center, stopping at Jefferson's gravesite along the way. A brick and gravel trail, six tenths of a mile in length, also connects the mountain top, gravesite, and visitor center. In addition to touring the house, we hope you'll explore the gardens and grounds, including Mulberry Row, the Main Street, a 5,000 acre plantation. Over 400 enslaved people lived and labored at Monticello during Jefferson's lifetime. During the tour of the house, we'll spend about 40 minutes exploring the first floor of Thomas Jefferson's autobiographical masterpiece. We'd like to spend time in the dependencies on the lower level, including the kitchen and wine cellar. To learn more about all of the things you see and do today, please visit us online at Monticello.org. Upon exiting the shuttle, please turn to the rear and proceed toward the brick pathway behind the shuttle. A staff member will be there to help you get started. We hope you enjoy your visit to Jefferson's Little Mountain. Yeah. Well, we couldn't go inside Washington, or not Washington, what am I thinking? Jefferson's house, because I guess they want to preserve everything on the inside and I don't blame them but here's a little bit of the outside there there's a dome on the other side over there that they remade or that he remade some of the stuff in there is original it's pretty cool wish I could have filmed in there but couldn't couldn't This is what Jefferson would have seen at his uh, front door. Pretty amazing that view. All those mountains. I don't know what mountains those are, but. Blue Ridge. Oh. They look good. And that was your ASMR viewing of the mountains for the day. So food after Thomas Jefferson house. Uh, uh, John Adam, cheese, and then she got a salad. I don't deal with no pickles, so you can have that. I've got lots of vegetables. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, we know Monroe did this as a business. Uh -huh. Mr. Monroe did this as a business. Uh -huh. Monroe had the wheels on the property. And he also had a room for weaving the cloth on the property. Now, the breeder sheep Monroe would have would have been Marina. These are, this is not cotton, this is wool. Wool. No wonder you were smelling that, James. He was smelling an like animal, so I said, well, you know, I think it's, it's, it's wool, you smell it, and it's hot and down, but... Uh, you, you smell it, yeah. <laughs> 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 I can't smell nothing. I got it. You just get nose blind to it. Who's got it? Yeah, got I've been doing it for almost over 15 years, so... Awesome. My nose is really good. <laughs> <laughs> so, wash the wool. First, you got to shoot the sheet. Yeah. That's once a year, early spring, March or April. Then you do all that, then you have to wash the wool, as you sure it, and, and wash it three or four times, it looks like this. And how do you wash it? Are you still tied with water? Uh, back then it would be a big old pot, two pots, with a fire, wheel, excuse me, allergy. And you wash the wool by this soap all day long. Then, before nightfall, you wash the wool and 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 you wash the wool 
and if you do that, then after the fourth wash and rinse, just let it dry. And the way you get the grass that sticks out, you comb it out. And these are my combs. That's uh, a lot of work. Yes. <laughs> a lot of work. You comb the grass out and you comb the sticks out. <clears throat> Excuse me. And after you do all that part of the work, <clears throat> then you gotta take it off, one of the combs, and then you spin it. And it looks like something like what you see here. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, so I'm sorry. Now, I'm going to spin it. Spin this wool here, keep it right there. And all this here is bad thread. You got to pull it off, and it's no good. Uh -huh. Take it here, place it on this hook. Take this other part here. Go through here. And go through this opening on the other side. Then we'll spin it. And it makes a bigger thread. Uh -huh. It makes a bigger thread. It makes yarn. No, no, no. This is for the wheel. This is to, to turn the wheel around. Oh, okay. To, to, to turn this around. Okay. The thread is going on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, I put it. I throw it in. I do it. I set some broke. There. So this fluff here. Clockwise, grab the fibers, arm, and pull, and then twist this up, pull and twist, pull and then twist. Now, what's going to be made? Is that yarn that you're making? Three. Three, okay. Uh -huh. This three here is going on the loom to be the cloth. Okay. So, what, would, what the, I mean, it's going to make some kind of you know, product. Um, uh, we're going to purchase this piece of cloth, we probably make a little you know, uh, shirt, whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. That <clears throat> if I work uh, a thick of three, I'll provide two work lines together to make, to make y'all for me. Uh -huh. For y'all for me. Make the gloves and the socks. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the prize is doing this yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, right now, it's really getting out right now. And so where did this original thread come from? This? I made it oh, okay. from, from, from the wool. Oh, okay. I mean, so you're taking this up, as you spin, you're doing that, and you're taking this up on that spindle. Right. You can raise it directly on the bottom. Oh, okay, I got you. Uh-huh. Right there is going on. I see. This yeah. Whole, this this wow. whole here. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that's right in the thimble. Right. We're going on this. You see, it's on this up here. It's okay, cool. going on this part right there. Okay. So I go up and down. Try to keep count. Try to keep count of that yeah. as I do it. And you've been doing this for 50 years? 15. 15. Yeah. A long time. Yeah. Oh, it's a second nature now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. Well, what's the difference between a great big wheel and a small wheel? Well, the big wheel, the giant, it's called it, it a great wheel. You don't have a trailer. Oh. So how, do you crank it? Or? Yeah, you do it all by hand. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, about, yeah, it, that, that, that is called a walking wheel. Well, walk. somebody, somebody has to do that while somebody else is doing it. No, just one person to get everybody. Jeez. 
So I wasn't able to film the house from the inside, but here it is on the outside. I made sure there's uh, repairs done to it, but they uh, repair the things every like seven years and we need to do that now. But I can show you some of the stuff on the outside. So here's clerk's office and quarters. And then I'm going to let you guys read that. Pause it and read it. Okay. Smokehouse. There's a meet up there. There's a fire pit that you'll probably read about. And then you can read that. Pause it and read it. There's a coach house. This is going to be harder to read. That bottom.
Okay, we're here in Washington, D.C. We've had a long, comfortable day. We had a great tour of, of uh, Mount Vernon. It was very nice. We saw cemeteries this morning. So, we're here at the Comfort Inn in Washington, D.C. I don't know if I'm too happy with the room, but, you know, that's what we got. So, we have it. I mean, it's a room, and it's clean, and they have breakfast, and they have a gym, and they have uh, all this other stuff. So, we're good. And then we're going to go find a place to eat and within walking distance. And, and then we'll be back and we might go explore the neighborhood. So uh, I'll see you later. And what you saw earlier in the video is footage of uh, in succession Thomas Jefferson's house, the, then James Monroe's house, and then uh, George Washington's house. So in case you were curious, that's what you were seeing earlier and that's in the order in which you saw them so this is the view from outside or this is what we get outside it might be hard to see because of the sun and all might get a better view tomorrow morning because this is west see the sun's right up there so this is west the reflections terrible see the bed my shirt everything but yeah gonna close this oh that's so loud oh. and and I wasn't able to film inside of uh, either one of the president's houses unfortunately uh, I just filmed what I could film I just filmed what I could film. Okay. So, yeah. So we're, eating, so we're eating dinner in a Chinese place. Some sweet and sour chicken. He's having that. What is that, Bella? Remind me what you ordered. Eggplant with stuff. Uh, eggplant with chicken. Yeah, eggplant with chicken. And to eat with chopsticks. And bean curd. I would just move it, scoot it, scoot it by that part. Because... I did. Okay. Because I don't think the plate's going to be too hot. But yeah, we're going to eat with chopsticks because we're cultured. And we're not uh, uncultured. So yeah. Well, that was uh, pretty good. The Hong Piao restaurant and bar. That was really good. So if you are in the area, check it out so now we are back in the hotel and we are in a different room because uh, the room we were in there were ambulances just not constantly going by but it was frequent enough to bug us and I know the clip of the other room didn't have any but I felt kind of lucky that there was none of that, but 
now. We're in a different room, five floors lower than that, and I'm happy. So I think that will conclude day one of the Washington, D.C. vlogs. Tomorrow, we're going to go to the Holocaust Museum. I'm not going to film in there out of respect. And then we're going to do some other stuff that... We don't have scheduled. That's the only thing we have scheduled. And see us, guys. I do believe that that will do it for the day one Washington, D.C. vlog. And until day two of the Washington, D.C. vlog, I will see you all later. Goodbye, guys. Thank you all for watching.